Okay, Jen, we hear a lot about a lot of different diets, things come and they go, but what should we actually be doing? So there's one diet that everyone should be following. It's called the Mediterranean diet. Okay. And May is Mediterranean diet month. So. How about that? Had to get this in right before the <laughs> yeah. end of May here. Just in the nick of time. Yes, but Mediterranean diet really just means it's it's traditional way of eating of countries that surround the Mediterranean Sea. Okay. So eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. And the reason for that is because you get a lot of antioxidants and fiber, vitamins, minerals, all those good things that help your health. You increase your lifespan with those things. And also minimally processed types of things. So okay. not eating a lot of things that are highly processed convenience types of things. It's right. more just eating whole foods eating a lot of seafood as well as olive oil. Primary fat would be olive oil. Okay, so we can get a good start here in the produce section. Yes, and you wanna make it colorful. One good thing that often is an all-star in the Mediterranean diet is the avocado. So avocados have a lot of vitamin E, monounsaturated fat, and they're just really heart healthy so they can help lower your cholesterol. All right, and then tomatoes too, right? Tomatoes are an excellent source of lycopene and all those different vitamin C and vitamin A and things like that. So yes, definitely including those and herbs, all these different things that are all plant-based that you can increase your flavors of your different foods and really enjoy your food. So the second part of the Mediterranean <laughs> diet is to really focus on seafood as you've got a whole salmon oh, is that what this is? in your hands. And it's Hello. looking pretty good, right? Hello. <laughs> so what you want to do actually is focus on eating seafood twice per week. Okay. That's going to give you all those omega-3s that are really heart healthy, also helpful for brain health and preventing dementia and Alzheimer's and things like that. So here we are at olive oil, which is another key uh, piece of the Mediterranean diet. Right. And I'm curious about these different kinds because I'm I'm overwhelmed right now looking at There's all the There's a lot different of kinds. different styles. What's yes. the difference between the you know extra virgin, pure, light? What is all right. that? Right. So the extra virgin olive oil is generally the first press of the olives. Okay. So that means it's going to have the most antioxidants in it. It's also going to have more of an olive flavor okay. to it. And the key thing too with oil, you don't want to drown your salad. You want to just dress your salad. Mm -hmm. So that's something to keep in mind. So because it still has a lot of calories, but the calories are coming from a really healthy source of fat. All right, Jen, if this is part of the Mediterranean diet, diet I'm on board. Yes. Grilled Greek pizza. That sounds amazing. And if you don't have a grill, just stick it in your broiler. It's not, oh. you know, it's still going to turn out. Yeah. So it's Yum. really easy to do inside or outside. So all you're going to do is just take a pre-made pizza crust, uh -huh. thin preferably, a little bit less calories that yep. way. And then you're just going to drizzle some garlic flavored olive oil over that, just a little bit, you know, like a teaspoon basically. Yeah, that's not very much at all. No, and just kind of rub it all over. Okay. And then if you were going to grill this, you'd actually just stick it on your grill for about one or two minutes. Actually, oil side down and then flip it back over. Oh, okay. Um, if you're broiling it, do the same thing. Just throw it in there for a couple minutes. Got it. And it kind of just soaks in. Right. So once you've got that done, I'm going to have you put on some fresh basil. Okay. So that's like my favorite herb. You can use it for so many different yeah, things. It's so you can bad. make pesto sauce. It just adds a whole another level of flavor to. Um, your foods and then you add some tomatoes and you got about two Roma tomatoes that you want to dice up green onions so you just want to put some of those on and olives another mat natural mainstay of the Mediterranean diet that and you put olive on oil. yes olive oil so olives have some fat in them too but again it's that monounsaturated heart healthy fat so you can see how colorful yeah. it's already Jen, we getting could, we could open a pizzeria yes we could look at us totally could do that <laughs> yes and then this is a tomato basil feta Yum. And then I'm going to have you do the mozzarella. Okay. So you're just going to, this is basically about a quarter of a cup of the feta. Just kind of crumble it over the top. It's going to add some really good flavor. And then you can do the mozzarella. And with cheese, a little less is more. Sometimes you can put too much cheese yeah, on it. and it can it just be, be drowning yeah. in that. But you're just kind of looking for everything to get nicely covered. And then when you pop it in the oven under the broiler or on the grill, it's not going to take very long, five to ten minutes. You oh, don't, don't walk away. Okay. Just stay right there. And it's going to come out looking kind of caramelized and pop it um, cheesy and just perfect. Yum. That looks delicious, Jen. Yes. And before we go, I have to say, I don't want to embarrass you, but this is this is Jen's second year with us now at Fresh and Simple. It's yes. your it's going on three now. Going on three. We're this starting is, our third yes, year. So exactly. you've been doing it for a while. You, yeah. We absolutely love you, Jen. You're fantastic. <laughs> thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for I know the viewers me. appreciate your yes. tips as well. I'm happy to help. All right. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Jen. All this information is on our website, kaaltv.com. Just click on Fresh and Simple.